hope this is bright enough. Hey guys, um, this is an update, obviously, by the title, you can see that. I don't know why I do that. Um, I'm just chilling in my car, obviously, you can see. <laughs> I guess I just like talking. Anyways, I just came from an appointment, um, with the gynecologist. And I have another appointment soon, and I'm waiting in my car, and I'm actually eating some blueberries and cherries, like this bag was full. And I'm sitting here thinking, actually, like, should I have waited to finish this because I want to continue eating them, but I'm talking, so. Um, I figured that it will be a good time to do an update really quick, um, since I haven't posted to this channel in a long time, and forgive me for that, I did record a video yesterday that... Um, that's almost done, so look forward to that, but just an update on endometriosis, on fibroids, on my anemia. I don't even think that I mentioned fibroids in my last previous videos, like, I, I've seriously been so anemic and tired, I, even the thought of taking a shower was too much, so recording a video and editing, it was just out of the question. So anyways, update on endo. Um... I haven't experienced any symptoms at all whatsoever during any of my cycles since my last video um, with my digestion like I told y'all before in the previous previous videos like it used to hurt during my cycle to eat and drink um, water and food and stuff my bowel movements were painful um, I'm guessing due to like scar tissue because um, the doctor said a while ago like year plus ago that I had scar tissue um, that was like pretty much adhesing, I don't know if that's a word, <laughs> that was pretty much clumped all of my like pelvic organs together. So like it was all together and it was just like no room for anything. So that's why bowel movements hurt and urination and food and stuff like that. Anyways, I haven't, I still haven't experienced those like nothing like endometriosis like I don't even think about it now I just think about like that was a scar from the past that's you know still there to remind me of what was going on but it's it's bye bye like I'm I've outgrown it I've surpassed it and overcame and I'm a warrior endo warrior speaking of endo warrior I have an IG page um my happy vagina go follow and um I'll follow you back, you know, I, that's just me, that page is just for me to, um, spread more awareness and drop knowledge on what's been helping me through my journey. Anyways, it's getting hot in this car, I just turned it off <laughs> so it won't be any background noise, so, so let me hurry up. Um, fibroids, um, after pelvic inflammatory disease, um, hospitalized me last February and I had surgery, um, they said that I had a really, really small fibroid, you know, in my pelvis, nothing to worry about. Fast forward to now, it was about this big, I guess, like a small orange, supposedly, and I had been um, dealing with, it was, it was sitting low in my cervix, low in my uterus, and then high in my cervix. So like, it was like as if you were giving birth and the head of the baby was coming out, like that's where it was. And it caused my cervix to thin out. You know what, I'll do a separate fibroid video. This is just an update. Long story short, I just um, had the fibroid removed two weeks ago. Um, I just came from my update, my follow-up appointment, and um, I also had been struggling with severe anemia because of heavy, heavy bleeding consistently. Um, and that stopped four to five days after out after um okay <laughs> after my surgery and I'm now not losing blood anymore and I'm building blood back up and I'm starting to feel normal I can speak and project and feel enthusiasm without being tired like usually like for the past I feel like year I've just been like this and it's been like I can't stand noises and I can't protect myself because it's so exhausting, it's so draining. I have to put, put out all that energy to speak and to even think and it was so freaking crazy. 
I'm, I'm spitting everywhere. I'm so excited. <laughs> Sorry. So, anyways, like that's a quick update. Um, I will be doing videos on all of this because I don't want anyone to go through what I went through. Um, it was a possibility for me to have a hysterectomy. Like I've had multiple blood transfusions. I was hospitalized for eight days prior to me having surgery again. Like bananas. My life has been bananas. But um let me just eat one cherry guys mm. but um i'm feeling better right now i'm so much better so i'm gonna get this video out and see so y'all can look forward to more videos um i appreciate all of my new subscribers just like three or four of you that's <laughs> so funny all of you I appreciate you. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. I hope all this information helps you. Please like and share and comment on this video and other videos so people can, more people can see them and be affected by them because you never know who needs this information. I am so determined to help women and to prevent them from not, from to prevent them from going through what I went through. I don't wish it on anyone. I could, I don't hate anyone, but if I did have so much hate for somebody female, I would never wish what I've been through against them at all. I, It pains me to know that young women in high school are going through this stuff and like, I just, I wanna help out guys. So that's all. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Much love to you guys. Until next time. Bye.